Yesterday, the House of Commons unanimously voted to draft legislation granting Elections Canada more investigative powers. The decision follows accusations of fraudulent robocalls made on behalf of the Conservative campaign in the Guelph riding during the last election. Drew Crawford has been following the story. Drew, is this vote going to make any difference in the investigation? Probably not in the large scheme. The problem with this vote is that it's not binding to anything. Essentially, the House of Commons and all political parties have come together and said, yes, we need to be more strict about our elections policies. We need to have a stronger board monitoring the actions of political parties. But that's all they're doing is saying, yes, we agree, we need more. And they're not really stating anything as of yet in terms of action. So why did this vote come up now then? There's been so many problems with last year's election, and it involves multiple political parties. Someone with a conservative affiliation is accused of misleading people to improper polling stations. The conservatives have fired back, stating that a liberal MP was essentially giving smear campaigns and not advertising that it was from a political perspective. Um, and so there's just been so much turmoil over Over 31,000 complaints have been filed to Elections Canada, so it is a big deal. So uh, what would happen in the future then if, the, if, if what the NDP asked for and Parliament agreed to in this motion goes forward? Well, Elections Canada would actually be granted a lot more power, a lot more investigative power, because right now they are the board in charge of monitoring elections, and right now they just don't have the tools in which to investigate. So three things would happen. First of all, the political parties would have to submit all of their receipts to Elections Canada. Secondly, the telecommunications companies that they're using to get in contact with the public would have to submit themselves to Elections Canada. They would have to uh, register themselves with, with Elections Canada. And thirdly, those same telecommunications companies would have to identify and verify their clients. So if a political party does choose to use their services, they would have to give that information outright to Elections Canada. Okay, so it sounds like, although it's not going to have any impact on this investigation, it may have some impact, uh, considerable impact in the future. It certainly should. Elections Canada would have a lot more power in terms of monitoring what goes on with Canadian elections. Okay, Drew, thank you very much. That was Drew Crawford reporting.